Namaste, everyone. I'm Jenny G. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button in the corner there in order to get new content and videos and so on. And make sure you're tuning into my podcast, Soul to Soul Connections with Jenny G. I've interviewed some extraordinary people already and I have more in the lineup soon coming. So stay tuned. So this week in this Cosmic Vibes, I'm going to be talking about what to expect from November 21st to the 27th. Now, this is a week when you're going to be quantum soul shifting. That's right. You're going to be shifting in quantum leaps into who you want to become. You have gotten these signs. If you stay tuned to my other videos, you have seen how you have been shifting, how you have been letting go of toxic energies, toxic people, toxic situations. You're getting more drawn into your passions, what you truly want to do, who you want to become, and so on. This week, you're going to be taking notifications even more profound really pay attention to what your dreams are showing you you know some people are like oh my gosh jenny i just had a dream about this and this and that pay attention write it down you can always book a reading with me i'm a clairvoyant psychic medium past life akashic records animal communicator and so on i can help you see what's coming up how to work through and how to get there and also let you know what your dreams are trying to tell you. It's a powerful week. As we end the week, we have a full moon in Gemini. So we'll talk about that in a moment. However, every day you're going to be feeling different shifts in your body. As the planets are out there, as I call it, we have huge solar flares going on. There's lot of activity constantly there's been more changes now on the planet this year than there has been in over 10,000 years like oh my goodness sakes right so it affects different parts of our body so you might be finding from the 21st and the 22nd like geez my feet and my toes are a little bit more sensitive you know like your your pineal gland right up here too right? It could be affecting you a little bit more. So just be gentle on yourself. And it's really important this week, you start stretching your body more, you're going to be more focused on your physicality, you're going to be like, geez, I need to really step it up in my routine or make these changes and so on. And you might be feeling that even more so around the 25th and the 26th of this week, you're going to be getting pulled towards a new way of living you're going to be like you know what i want to make these changes you're going to be gravitating towards more of that and it's really important that you stay in alignment with positivity because if you connect and talk to the wrong energies or negative your dreams are going to crash literally right in front of you so it's really important important to let go of people who bring out the worst in you if it's a neighbor if it's your friend if it's your partner I'm just saying it doesn't matter this is when you guys were being shown for a little while now what is working and what's not working really important because when you let go of the wrong people God brings in the right people to you I've had to let go of people myself it's a constant sweep out who's supporting me in the positive way who inspires me you know staying in aligned with that energies because when you're getting dragged down really pause and take it pay attention to why am I getting so dragged down who is dragging me down keep a diary keep a you know like who do I feel really good around? Who is lifting me up and supporting me in a positive way? It's really important. And sometimes when we write that down, you're going to see even more so. And it's going to be more emotional because some of you are going to be letting go of relationships in all modalities, friendships, family, spouses, co-workers, relationships in general with anybody and it can be emotional because you're going to be like, wow, once upon a time I used to connect with them or I don't really truly want to let go of that person and that person. 
it's going to be an emotional, especially as we get into that Gemini full moon. Okay. So when you let go of the wrong people that are weighing you down, the right people appear. Trust me on that. I've had to set boundaries consistently and constantly for quite some time. Right. For many, 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 many reasons. And whenever you're letting go of people, always wish them the best. When I let go of certain people, I'm like, you know what? Thank you for my journey and my time I've shared with you and spent the lessons I've learned. You know, I truly wish you the best with all happiness and prosperity and abundance. However, my journey with you is now over. We connected at that time for whatever reason. I'm letting you go with love and light. And I wish you the best. So for those People, they're going to be like, wow, you know, like, the wow, like, wow, all of that kind of stuff. Don't worry about it. You have to be authentic and walk in your footprints that feels right for you, right? We all go through different cycles and such like that. Even Mercury retrograde, which is coming back next month, of course, you know, brings back people from our past and such, but that's a different that's a different story. We'll talk about that later, right? So the 23rd and the 24th, you might be feeling, you know what, my head or my tongue or, you know, my arteries and such like that. They just kind of feel, feel a little bit more sensitive. The 25th and 26th, it could be more around your neck and vocal and thyroid area, right? It's like be gentle stretch. Like if it's your neck, do gentle stretch, stretches, right? Don't force anything in your body be more gentle. Your 27th and the 28th of November, you could be feeling, you know, my shoulders and my my hands and my arms a little bit. Like I, I have an injury. I have di di different injuries and I can get restricted at times to do certain things. And I actually had to go see my doctor last week. And he says, Jenny, your injury is going to take you at least eight months to heal. And I'm like, oh, of course, right? So we have to be gentle. We have to be really gentle with ourselves and not to push certain situations. Just when I feel, you know what, I want to go full force and do this or that workout, I get stopped because there's certain issues. <clears throat> so you have to be gentle. You can still do it, but just be really gentle. Okay. You might be feeling even a little bit more tired on the 21st and 22nd. You might be like, you know what? I just want to declutter my place, my environment. If it's my workspace, if it's my vehicle, if it's my home and take a look at what you're holding on to in your mind, right? It's so easy to build up that clutter, 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 clutter. Like even today I was supposed to be doing something you know, and I changed it all. And I looked back on my calendar because whenever I hear different dates from spirit, like this date and that date, I circle it. I might not know what's going on that date or whatever, you know, if it's positive, if it's, if it's something that, you know, not so good, you know, I, I'm more drawn to, okay, let me really write that down. And then I'm like, wow, I can't believe that. Right. I actually have done that. And I'm like, wow, what an extraordinary extraordinary event that happened to me that day, which I might share with you at another time, really. Um, but pay attention to those messages you're getting drawn down because we're now entering Sagittarius seasons. Happy birthday to my Sag friends, Sagittarians out there, right? So just focus on what you're drawn to with your passions, you guys, because that is going to come out even more so Pay attention to it because you're going to be like, yeah, I want to really focus on this and this and that. Absolutely. Absolutely. When you start making yourself a priority and set these boundaries and focus on yourself and such like that, you're going to see shifts in quantum leaps, you guys. Like you're going to see these quantum soul shifting going on within with what you're doing, what you're creating, and so on. You know, it's a balance, right? I mean, like, you know, we have to make time for, you know, different people and such like that, that you connect with. Pay attention to those people who bring you down. Well, all of a sudden you get a negative message or all of these things. Really pay attention, you know? I mean, I have a lot of compassion towards humanity and other people and such like that, but there's that limit of balance, right? You know, I, I'd get slammed with messages all day. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? And all of this, 
you can book a reading for me. I used to go and spend hours, like 14, 15 hours a day answering messages and such like that, compassion. I'm like, I'm so drained, completely drained. And I'm like, why am I doing that, Jenny? You could book a reading with me, soulworkwithjenny.com. I can give you all my insights and so on and explain to you what's really going on. Okay, so the 23rd happy Thanksgiving to my friends and family in the U.S. You know, that can be a day of, oh, my gosh, we got to get together. Family or friends. Ew. <laughs> right. Make the best out of it. Really make the best out of it and be grateful. Be really grateful. There's a lot of energy. There's a lot of people suddenly passing and so on and so on, which I've talked about before in my other videos. You don't know when you're going to see that person again. Boom. Things go quickly and it's going to continue rapidly. So I'm just saying, if there's somebody you want to see or say something to, don't take that for granted. Please. A lot's happening. A lot of damage has been done. It's going to be brought out more. More truth is being exposed as we can all see. So November the 25th to the 26th, you're really, during that time frame, going to be pulled towards a real new way of living. You're going to be like, gosh, I want to break free. I just, I want the new. I want the new. You know, even I had somebody, you know, ask me, um, which I'm not going to share yet with you, but, you know, I went over there um, and they're like, why do you want to let that go, Jenny? Like, and I'm like, because I want the new. I'm embracing the new. Very grateful for this situation here with what's happened. So truly grateful. And however, I'm ready to say goodbye. I'm ready to move on from that. And I'm embracing the new. Because I have a vision board. I've always had a vision board. And I've been checking off what I've been accomplishing, manifesting, and so on. And this new thing I'm walking into, it's a little bit scary, to be honest with you. However, I know deep in my heart, it's the right direction for me. Because I knew that when I did that and signed that contract, I'm moving on in a big way. So that's another story. That's another story. So anyways, you're going to find that you're facing your fears in, and you're going to be feeling that, you know, it feels actually better for me. You know, it's, I don't have that maybe so scary feeling anymore. It feels right. When you have made a decision, doesn't matter if it's painful or whatever it is, when you're like, you know what, I feel more at peace with that decision I've made, no matter what it is, you know, you're on the right path because that's your soul's GPS, your inner guru confirming that for you, that you're on the right path. And you're going to get that this week. You're going to find that this week. So, and be gentle on yourself as well, because we still have that Chiron energy until the end of December, which is bringing up wounds from your past, traumas from your past. If it's like rejection or abandonment or certain situations that you went through that were very difficult and challenging and emotional, self-doubt, whatever it is. That's going to go on till the end of December. So really pay attention with that. You know, be easy on yourself. Like how many of you guys have sat back and all of a sudden you're like, wow, why all of a sudden am I in tears? Or why all of a sudden did that memory come up? Because your soul wants you to still heal from that and work through it a little bit more. The more you ignore it, it's going to keep on coming up stronger and stronger and stronger, especially during different cosmic times like where the planets are and such like that you know sometimes somebody's like oh my god i can't believe it oh my god and this is where you need to pause so this week this energy grab a hold of it what are we going to be doing we are going to be quantum soul shifting into who you want to become that's the key word Quantum soul shifting into who you want to become. How do you make that happen? It all starts with you. This is a review week. Decluttering your mind. Letting go of fears. Embracing what you want. 
letting go of toxic energies with certain individuals that are holding you back. All of a sudden, you're going to find people that are trying to suck up to you, as I call it. And it's like, you know what? The damage has been done. I've already seen. I've already heard. Da, 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 da. My journey with you is over. However, I wish you the best and so on. Right? Never wish anybody any ill, bad luck. Don't do that. What energy you send out comes back. And with everything that all of us have been going through on this planet, show compassion and kindness. And please don't ever judge. We all have our own journey to walk upon. All of us do. Every single person on this planet has been affected one way or another. Even the billionaires and millionaires, they're affected by events that have happened on this planet. People are suddenly dying. Does it matter if you have billions of dollars in your bank account? What's that going to do, right? Be grateful because you're really going to feel compelled to implement these changes as well. Who are you becoming? Who do you want to become? Start writing it down. Don't worry how you're going to get there. Who you surround yourself with, you become. Don't worry who likes you and who doesn't. What, what does that matter realistically? The right people will gravitate towards you by your vibrational frequency. When you're letting go of the wrong people, you're attracting the right people to you. You have to trust that process. I've met extraordinary people of all walks of life. And I'm grateful for each one of them. I'm just saying. So now let's see what the universe has to say to us collectively this week. Now this full moon in Gemini too, by the way, on the 27th, you're going to see more of what you want. You're going to start to go after what you want. It's a huge manifesting day. You're going to have more compassion, understanding, really pay attention to your dreams. You could feel a little bit more chatty, wanting to be more adventurous, wanting to be more sociable. And you're really going to want to deepen those relationships with others friends, it could be co-workers, it could be your partner, anybody. Really pay attention to who you want in your life who supports you in a positive way. Let go of who is dragging you down. We all have our own journey, of course, right? We have to go through certain individuals and situations in order to say, you know, oh, I can't be with that person anymore. I can't, I just cannot. And this is where their tears are going to come. This is where you're going to have that sadness because you're going to be like, wow, I used to really connect with that person. And, you know, they've changed or maybe they haven't changed, but you have changed. Really ponder on that. Really ponder on that. So now... As I said, let's see what the cards have to say, right? I don't use cards when people book readings with me. I'm a clairvoyant psychic medium, for goodness sakes. So I don't use cards, but because this we're doing this collectively, I'm going to talk to the cards and see what they have to say. Um, so let's just take a look here, right? Um, I'm going to move that one over here. Drawn into hmm, this deck here. Now, before you use any cards, make sure you clear them on wood. Knock three times because it clears your energy or whoever last has used it. And I've cleared these cards before. So let us ask the universe what's the collective message from the 21st to the 27th. Let me know what's going on with you guys. Let me know like what you're changing, what um, and how you want to make these changes and so and so. You don't have to worry about the how, 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 right? Just write it down. I'd like to change this or I'd like to create that. That's your vision board. Write it down and be very specific because then, then the universe starts saying, oh, okay, this is what they want, right? And things start to happen. So what is the message collectively from the 21st to the 27th? Your angels are really 
really, really, really around you right now, even more at this time, your angelic beings, I'm really hearing, pay real, real pen attention to that. I keep hearing angelic. So um, 21st, 21st to the 27th, 21st to the 27th. What's the message of spirit? Well, okay. So now we have here, this is really interesting. You found it. So you know how I'm saying this week, what are we doing? We're going to be quantum soul shifting into who we want to become. All of a sudden, you might be like, yes, that's what I want to do. That's what I want to change. That's where I want to go. You found it. That's right. Pay attention to those messages that are coming through. Like I chant every day. I meditate every day. I, I do prayers every day. Send out and radiate peace on earth. Send unconditional love to the dark forces. Because if they saw and felt unconditional love they would not be destroying our planet and humanity right you have found who you want to become you have found what you're looking for be open you guys you've been doing that work for a while now it takes time it's not like just like that right it takes a little time to let go and and reflect on things and come to real terms with reality and this is where the pain can come as we're letting go. We're letting go who we once upon a time used to be or once upon a time this or once upon a time that. Change happens at any given time. The only thing that's constant on this planet is change. That's it. As we can clearly see. So let's talk to the animal kingdom. Like I'm also an animal communicator and I talk to your animals who have passed on and also your animals who are alive let you know what's going on with them and what messages they're trying to say. So it affects them. It, all energies affect everything on this planet, or even our plants, for goodness sakes. What is the message from the animal kingdom? What's the message from the animal kingdom? What is the message from the animal kingdom? It's the message from the animal kingdom. Wow. Oh, ready then. Um, here. So now... This is really kind of cool, actually. Now, the message from our animal kingdom is the rabbit. I pause and reflect on the patterns revealed to me. Different perspectives give me insight and understanding. It is easy for me to give birth to ideas. My creative endeavors come to fruitation. I find balance with the cycles of life. Look at that. Look at that. We want balance. We want stability. And when you start shifting into quantum leaps and becoming and working towards the person you want to become, the universe will work with you. If you are being authentic, if you're trying to be somebody who you're not, it's not going to work in your favor because that's not the direction your soul wants you to walk upon. Goodness sakes, follow your passions, follow what you're drawn into. It doesn't matter what anybody else does. You know, different things that I have done or what I'm actually currently working on, people, if I mentioned, this is why I keep certain things quiet to myself. I just go ahead and do what feels right for me. And then all of a sudden, you know, if somebody asks you, what are you doing? They're shocked. They're like, how did that, how, how, like, how did you do that? Work on what you want to do and become. Energy is energy, you guys. My goodness. Right? Don't be hard on yourself. Don't do that. I'm very hard on myself. I'm very hard on myself. Jenny, why did you do that? Right? I'm very hard on myself. And I always tell people, don't do that. We can reflect and say, okay, let me review this. Let me review what's going on and how this has happened. Right? So let's ask the energy of the universe. What is the message from the 21st to 27th of November? Can you believe it? Like we're already at, towards the end of this, like November. Oh my gosh. 
Like, oh my gosh, like it's mind blowing. So what is the message from the spirit world? The message right away, this fell out like, land, oh, land of dreams, land of dreams. Look at that. Follow your dreams. Your quantum soul shifting into who you want to become. Follow your dreams. Don't worry how, how it's going to manifest, how, you know, even next year, 2024, I'm making some huge changes. I'm not worried how, how it's going to happen or, or when. I'm just staying in the now. What's going on today? What is happening today? Even today, I was supposed to do things, right? However, I've changed that. I've rescheduled certain things. This is why it's important to stay in the now. Follow your path. Follow what resonates with you. And also, really pay attention to what you're being shown in your dreams. You know how I said there's going to be a lot of uh, messages in your dreams? That's continuing on. And sometimes you might get really confused of, geez, oh my gosh, what does this mean? Like, oh my gosh, is that like... <gasps> You can book a reading with me and I can tell you exactly what messages your soul and the spirit world is trying to say to you. So have no worries. Wow. Thank you, spirit. So let's just pull from this deck. I'm actually, I'm gravitated towards. What is the collective message for our highest source? 21st to the 27th. I'm really, really hearing the 28th for some reason. I don't know why. November 28th. Really pay attention to that. Maybe it's me. I get, I hear different messages and dates and I, I do write it down. Um, it could be around me myself as well. Um, but for those of you, if something happens on the 28th, let me know. It's a message from the spirit world. 21st to 27. 21st to 28. 21st to 28. I'm hearing my mother come through. So um, very well could be around that. Um, but anyways, we're not going to go there. I'm in a video here, Spears. Uh, wow. So this just kind of hit me, actually. Um, as soon as I connected with my mom, who's still present, by the way, the card that fell through is I love you. Those are powerful words. So you know how I said, if you have something to say to someone, don't hold back. There's so many sudden passings, heart attacks, and so on. That's going to continue. Please pay attention. And when was the last time you told yourself, I love you? Pay attention. Now, Please like my video. It really helps my channel. Make some comments. Let me know what's going on. And subscribe to my channel. Tune into my podcast, Soul to Soul Connections with Jenny G. And you're going to be amazed and shocked who I've already interviewed and who is coming up in my future interviews as well. Wishing you all an amazing, beautiful week as you go through your soul quantum shifting into who you want to become. We're all unique. We're all gifted, have our own unique abilities. Stay true to you. Walk in your path and be, be authentic. Namaste.